Hello, in this video, let's go over how to get uh, supply and demand functions into an equilibrium price and quantity. We'll do that on a graph, and then we're going to do elast or, yeah, elasticity of demand or price elasticity of demand. Then I want um, to interpret that. Then I'm going to think about income elasticity and then cross price elasticity. So elasticity is just an economics word for how much the uh, quantity will change based on the change of something else. So usually it's price elasticity. So it's how much will our sales change based on a change in price. Uh, but it could be based on a change in income or it could be a change on a, a price of some other product. So uh, it says plot the supply and demand function. So if you didn't want to do this with a calculator, what you could do is you could put in a price, uh, price of one, that would be your quantity, Price of two, so you could set up a little table, looks like this. Uh, so price of one, uh, then that would be quantity nine. And then price of two, and that would be quantity six. Price of three, quantity three. You could keep doing that if you wanted to. Uh, and then you could do the same thing with quantity supplied. So price of one, uh, and that's actually gonna be a negative number, so it'd be zero. Price of two, uh, that would be four, that would be one. Price of three, uh, that would be a three. You could, you, you could keep doing that, okay? Now, if you wanna just graph it, what you can do is convert these functions into something that would be easily read by a graphing calculator. So in economics, we're always gonna use the x-axis is gonna be quantity and the y-axis is gonna be price. So if you want to flip it around, you could say X for the demand, X equals 12 minus three P. Oh, how about three Y? Three Y instead of P. Okay, then you put that into a graphing calculator and it'll know what to do. Uh, and it'll look something like that. And then for quantity supplied, you just go X equals negative three plus to y so then that'll give you some number like that and because i already did this i know that that's going to be three and that's going to be three and then you can calculate if you put in a zero here you could calculate what the top part of the demand function is and you could calculate what the bottom part of the supply function is um, because we live in, in more modern times you can just graph this so this is already done for us We'll just grab this right here, and you can you can take it all the way out there, however you want. You can write on it in the screen share tool. So there's supply, there's demand, here's price, here's quantity. So there we get quantity. Okay, and then you can put, paste that back in your homework, and you've got a nice little supply and demand. There you go. Uh, okay, and so then you can mark this point right here. This is the equilibrium price, and then this point right here, this is the equilibrium quantity, and that's the point where quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. You could also set these functions equal to each other and solve for both price and quantity, no problem. The answer here is the price of three, quantity of three. And we've plot this supply and demand functions. C, uh, equilibrium price and quantity, what's the price elasticity of demand? So we need to use something called the point elasticity formula. So price elasticity of demand is this. So it's the change in quantity over the change in price times whatever the, whatever the price and quantity combination you have is. So price over quantity. So in, in our problem here, um, this right here, is whatever coefficient is on P. Okay, so that's the same number there. Okay, so in this case, this would be negative three, and then our price at equilibrium is three, quantity is three, and then that, so that would be negative three. That's our price elasticity of demand. How do we interpret it? Well, because it's more negative than negative one, it's elastic. Okay, so this means a relatively Small change in price will cause a higher change in quantity. The, the consumer, for whatever reason, is um, 
sensitive to price changes. Okay? So it says, how much will the quantity change if the price increases by 1%? So here we want to use the arc price elasticity of demand formula, which is percent change in quantity demanded over percent change in price. Okay, so here we're told, well, we know that the, the price elasticity of demand is negative three, and then we're told that the price went up by 1%. And we don't know the quantity demanded, and this is a this is a percent too. Okay, so if the price goes up by one percent, it's going to cause a negative three percent drop in sales. Okay, so in terms of revenue, this is a bad. Don't do that if you're worried about revenue. Okay, that's that's how to do that. Now, if you had a elasticity of demand of of a number between zero and negative one or in absolute terms, zero to one, then that's inelastic and you'll end up with a different answer, okay? Uh, e, if I were to calculate an income elasticity of 0.5, what does this imply? So any income elasticity, the, the formula for this, for E, let's go over here. Formula for E, income elasticity, this is percent, change in quantity demanded over percent change in income. So for most products, when the income goes up, when the, when the income number is positive, quantity demanded will be positive. That's a normal good, okay? And that's what the case is here. If this number is positive, it's a normal good. If, if it's negative, if the, um, say the, the income level went down but quantity demanded went up or the income went up and quantity demanded went down that this is an abnormal we call it an inferior good okay so if the income elasticity is negative that's an inferior good okay f suppose there were another good in our market a calculated price elasticity is negative 1.2 what does this imply so this formula for f this is called a cross price elasticity. We'll write that as cross price elasticity. This is the percent change in whatever this product is. It doesn't say what the product is, but whatever this is, divided by the percent change in the price of some other good. Okay, so here they're saying that this number is negative. Okay, so what that would have to mean is that an increase in price will cause a decrease in the quantity demanded of this product or a decrease in price will cause an increase in quantity demanded. So this means that the two goods are complementary. You buy them together. Okay, so if we're selling this product, we hope that that other product goes down in price because it'll mean more sales for us. And there you go.